the ball and they're off to a great start. They're going for the kick. According to the Brain Injury Research Institute, an estimated 1.6 to 3.8 million sport and recreation related concussions occur in the United States every year. But the question remains, what happens when you have a concussion? Our brains have a consistency that is similar to jello and they are very well protected. They are surrounded by meninges, which is a fancy word for the protective membranes that wrap around our brain and spinal cord. The meninges are composed of the pia mater, which is the innermost membrane, the arachnoid, which is the middle membrane, and the dura mater, which is the outermost membrane. Our brain is then floating in cerebrospinal fluid, and this helps the brain absorb small impacts and still not be harmed. And to top it all off, our brains are then encased in our hard, bony craniums. They are very well protected. A sudden impact can cause the brain to bump against our heart skull, and this can severely hurt brain tissue. A common result of these sudden hits to our heads is a concussion, which is a type of mild traumatic brain injury, or MTBI for short. You can think about it like this. Imagine you are pushing a shopping cart that is heading towards a wall. When the cart makes contact with the wall, it will stop, but your body will continue to go forward due to inertia and you will hit the cart, causing an injury. But why are concussions so dangerous? Our brains are made up of millions of neurons, which are the basic working units of the brain. Neurons, which are made up of a cell body, axons, and dendrites, transmit information around the brain and within the body through synapses. When our brains are impacted with a large force, these delicate neurons can stretch and even tear, harming their ability to send and receive signals that control our bodies. Normally, the careful balance of salt and electrolytes inside and outside of the cell is maintained by our brain cells. And this water bottle is a brain cell. When the brain experiences a concussion, potassium leaks into the cell membrane while sodium leaks out. These leaks cause the brain to use more energy to maintain the balance of salts and electrolytes. Also, as the axons and nerve cells degenerate, toxic neurotransmitters, including glutamate, are released, which can lead to brain cell dysfunction and the death of neurons. Several concussive impacts can actually cause a degenerative brain disease called chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE for short. CTE occurs when tau proteins clump together within the brain and slowly spread, severely damaging and even killing brain cells. So, if you ever experience concussions, listen to my instructions and you won't face the repercussions. Stay safe.